What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to find winning products using Pinterest. Now, if you saw one of my last videos where I did product research using TikTok, it's going to be a very similar method, but utilizing a couple of different tweaks to accommodate Pinterest as a marketing platform, as it is a little bit different than TikTok. Now, for those of you that are new to my channel, I do a free 30 minute consulting call giveaway every single video. All you have to do is like this video, leave a comment down below, and make sure that you're subscribed. I'm gonna put the winner of the last 30 minute consulting call somewhere over here. So make sure that if this is you, you reach out to me as soon as possible so we can book your call. Now with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. So in order to understand how to find winning products on Pinterest, first you need to understand what a person does when they're going on Pinterest what to look out for, and just what type of social media marketing platform it is in general. So while TikTok is more accommodating to the younger market as it is emerging into kind of an older market now, Pinterest has always kind of been that 20 to 40 year old dominantly female audience. So you have to take that into account when you're doing your advertising. There are a lot of men, but for the most part, whereas TikTok might be very flexible in the types of products you can sell, it could be male-based, it could be female-based. Traditionally on most platforms, you're gonna actually have an easier time selling to women. So on Pinterest, you're probably gonna find a lot of products that are accommodating to, like I said, that 20 to 40 age range, both men and women but a different type of product than you might stumble across on TikTok. Now with Pinterest, there's a couple different types of ads, the main one being on the For You page as is equivalent to TikTok, where as you're scrolling through your normal organic feed of other pages that you might not have interacted with in the past, there might be really cool products that some of these pages have to offer organically on their regular Pinterest accounts, or you might get advertisements that look a little bit something like this, where they have the text promoted next to them. They're very native to the content, so a lot of times you can't even tell if you're seeing an ad or not. But I'm gonna be going in and showing you two different main methods. One is going niche by niche and trying to isolate specific ads and posts that are going to be coming in your way, or just by going to your homepage once your overall Pinterest account is optimized so that Pinterest thinks that you are a buyer or a drop shipper customer rather than a seller looking for products. All right, so I'm actually here inside of my Pinterest account. Now this isn't the same one that I use on my laptop, which I highly suggest that you do for both TikTok and Pinterest if you haven't already used some of these strategies yourself on your computer. Sometimes you can access things like the monthly visitors of the Pinterest account, or for TikTok, for example, you can go through without getting lost in the rabbit hole because it's very easy to navigate in different areas when it comes to TikTok. So again, with Pinterest, you can go ahead and do all of the things that I'm doing right now on a laptop, which I usually do for my product research. But in this instance, I'm on a different Pinterest account. So my feed's probably not gonna be as optimized. So this is what it's gonna look like for you guys. So again, this is kind of that for you page that we talked about the equivalent of kind of your, your explore page on Instagram or Facebook. Although it's more like TikTok where it doesn't have to be viral to hit those pages. It just has to be relevant to what you like to interact with. So I'm just gonna scroll and isolate an ad that you guys will be able to go ahead and see so that you see what, it's lo what it looks like to have kind of that promoted term so that you can differentiate an ad from a regular post and then we're gonna go ahead and get into the actual strategy. So as you can see here in the beginning when your Pinterest account isn't optimized, you're gonna get a lot of ads for these big brands you know, like Acura or maybe some big legitimate fitness companies in the e-commerce space that definitely aren't drop shipping. So they're going to be promoted with, like I said, that little bolded word promoted by, and it's gonna have the company name next to it. And it's often going to be distinguishable from a regular post, a little bit easier on mobile than it is on desktop because some of the main text that appears in ad copy and in posts don't show up on mobile. So as you can see, we're getting ads from LL Bean, from Talenti Gelato, from Best Buy. So a lot of what you see up front in the beginning is going to be more so these big brands, right? Ninja Kitchen, so that's probably gonna be a promotion for the Bullet, AT&T, all of these things. So what we need to do in order to get out of this is to start going niche by niche 
starting to think of the type of products that we want to isolate and the type of stores that we want to find and interact with them so that we can receive more ads like those or isolate products from pages that are promoting products that we want to sell and not that we want to buy from all these bigger brands. Three days later. All right, so now that you know what an actual Pinterest ad looks like with that promoted text, uh, you're gonna wanna go to different sections of Pinterest, very similarly to how we navigated TikTok. So you might wanna put in specific keywords, although they're not going to be integrated into just natural posts usually, like the way that some winning products are on TikTok. You're going to have to do a little bit more digging and depend on the algorithm to give you some you know, similar and, and applicable content to what you are searching. So in this instance, I've just gone ahead and typed in a sample keyword such as AliExpress. Now I don't expect this to do as well as TikTok simply because people aren't putting out as much content on AliExpress. Uh, but rather it's going to put in just that keyword to maybe stumble across similar types of products. So as you can see, we're going to scroll through. We, the first ad we get is unfortunately Target, but we're actually getting some general generic content for products that are found on AliExpress. So it's not a horrible method, but we wanna find these things right here, right? The ads that are actually being promoted by companies that are killing it on Pinterest. We can cross check their traffic, like I said, on desktop for Pinterest. And I know these guys, I know that they're a pretty big brand that's killing it on Pinterest. So just go ahead and look at their recently uploaded products, right? Here we have another one. Uh, I, I don't think this is an actual product. I think this is a store that's scamming people. So we're probably gonna wanna stay away from something like this. But that being said, you can still interact with it. You know, add it to cart, initiate checkout, show Pinterest that you are an active buyer or someone who's at least adding things to cart. Now, again, I, I don't know if this product is a legitimate product or not, but you have to understand how to identify that. Just use common sense. If a product looks completely unrealistic and that looks like it's CGI animation, then stay away from it. Now here's another one that's actually been pretty popular. You know, this like kind of this old man Halloween costume. But again, just get these stores, put them in a list, go research them on Pinterest or use Commerce Inspector on their websites to find their recently uploaded products. Because if they're showing up frequently, there's probably a good reason. And if they're getting 10 million plus monthly visitors, they're probably quite profitable on Pinterest. So now here we literally have two, again, winning products on Pinterest. I've noticed beauty products do very, very well on Pinterest. Basically products that you aren't confident running on Facebook because you think you might get banned. You can literally go ahead and test on Pinterest and 99% of the time you can get away with your creative, your copy, your landing page, things like that. So again, that's probably a winning product right there. Here's a flashlight by Falcon Light. So you might not find good products from looking at their recently uploaded products, but this is a product in and of itself that you know is probably profitable or working well on Pinterest. Now, similarly to TikTok, there is an AliExpress finds and Amazon finds section, but in my opinion, it's not as good as what shows up on TikTok. And so you're, you're just gonna have to do a little bit more digging, right? You might wanna go on the explore page, see some of the ads. We actually literally saw this exact product and I think this exact TikTok over on the platform TikTok in that last video. So again, if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend that you watch that as well. But a lot of these products and a lot of these ads are going to be applicable to AliExpress products, products that we have access to and you know have the ability to sell. We literally just saw this exact same product on a different store. It looks like they might be kind of partner companies working together. It looks like they have the same theme. But again, it's just gonna take a lot of scrolling and a lot of digging, you know, a lot of investigating into the stores that you come across. You can go ahead and check this shop section here. Let's see if anything really catches our eye. I like this one. This is on Overstock though, so this isn't really AliExpress finds. But that's where we're just gonna have to go ahead, like I said, and do a little bit more digging, right? So if you have a specific niche that you're selling in, such as the pet niche, maybe you can look up something like dog toy and kind of see what comes up in the algorithm because there are organic posts that are going to be promoting products that you might be interested in selling as well. So I think we are in shop category, but yeah, here's just a bunch of different ideas for products that you can go ahead and see if there are similar ones or the exact same ones on AliExpress. We're probably gonna wanna to go to the Explore and type that in again. So as you can see, we're already getting ads that are actually related to the dog niche, right? We're getting these tennis balls, this Frisbee. This is a dog toy that was actually a killer when it comes to drop shipping for many, many stores. Here's another two good examples, a dog harness, a customizable dog harness, in addition to this 
dog toothbrush cleaner. So as you can see, there's literally just a ton of different ways that you can attack this and that you can approach this product research method. But the best ways are just gonna go by your specific niche or have a little bit of an idea of what types of products you wanna find so that you can actually search that product or that specific niche and find similar products within that niche or similar products to the one that you're trying to find or maybe one that you're already selling. So now I can scroll through these sections all day long. I want you guys to go ahead and actually put this to use. Let me know how it goes. Again, it's a lot like TikTok to where you can get lost in the rabbit hole. If you don't have a clear structure and set of product research criteria, just right in front of you with your laptop open, ready to go cross check some of these stores over on Pinterest desktop so you can see their monthly visitors, so you can see some of their other pins and some of their other ads that are actively being run. So it's a lot like the Facebook ad library, except you don't have to navigate into different areas. You can just open up their general home Pinterest account and go through all of the ads and all of the pins that they've either ran in the past or that they're running right now actively. Thank you guys so much for sticking around until the end of the video. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. And I noticed that a lot of you guys do not have your post notifications turned on. And now why that's really important to me is because how good my video responds in the first couple of hours dictates how many people it ends up reaching throughout the next couple of days, next couple of weeks, and maybe even months. So it's really important that you guys react and respond to my videos as soon as possible if you do get value out of them, because again, it helps me and it helps a lot of other people in our niche. And if you guys can keep providing me with that easy, simple favor of just reacting and responding to my videos in a timely manner, if you do find value out of them, then I will keep uploading these videos every single week. And if there's any particular video that you wanna see, please do not hesitate to reach out to me either in the Ecom Tide Facebook group that's gonna be linked down below, in our Telegram group chat, or to me personally on Instagram or in the comment sections down below. And other than that, I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next video.